What is the context of a communication? Well, context generally refers to the surrounding circumstances or situation in which a communication occurs. So the first type of context that you might categorize is an interpersonal communication. This is communication within oneself. It might also be referred to as self-talk. Now, this may not be generally recognized as a form of communication as it does not involve two parties or the transmission of information but this is focused on mental processing of information and the reassertion of that information to oneself such that it affects one's actions disposition perceptions etc so interpersonal communication is a context and form of communication in itself now, a more readily recognized form of communication or context for communication is interpersonal, and this is between two or more individuals. Okay, uh, the conversation can be one-on-one, -on -one, and this is a two-person communication that form that follows the formal communication process. That is, the encoding of a message, the receipt of a message, the uh, response with feedback, that type of thing. Now, group communication involves three or more people, usually up to a small group. Uh, of about eight to ten people. Anything more than that crosses into the line of our next type, which is a public communication. Okay, but with interpersonal communications, you have group communications and you have team communications. Uh, group means you have a small group there. You're communicating with these individuals collectively, and there's a back and forth with more than two people. The team communication means that you all have a similar objective. So it's a modified form of the group. Uh, communication. That is, everyone's on the same page with the same type of uh, topic of conversation, if you will. Now, a public communication is where you expand beyond the group. You have a general conversation with a larger group of people, and the conversation may vary based upon who you're talking to in the audience. Obviously, that becomes less apparent as the audience grows, as the public grows who you're talking to. Then the message becomes less individualized and more general or singular in nature and it's simply being broadcast. Which leads us to our next form of communication, which is mass communication. This is a public communication, again, that is distributed at large. It is a singular message that is not part of the back and forth that you would uh, traditionally assume in the uh, formal communication process. It is a one-way delivery of a pre-constructed message to a large group. That message does not change. It is pre-crafted. It is singular, so uh, it is not unique to any of the members of the group. So these are the primary contexts in which communications occur.